hair like wool, eyes like a flame of fire, feet like fine brass, as if they were burned in a furnace. Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hello, my black folks from United States of America. Guys, I love you so much and thank you for your great support. And if you're watching us here for the first time today, please show love by subscribing. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think about our videos. Because you all know that the story that has been trending uh, currently is the story of the discovery of the black messiah by Russia. This comes after Russia opened their oldest vault to show the world that messiah was actually coming from the black race okay now this took the social media with a storm and people gave their their opinions regarding this discovery now i want us to watch these reactions by these white folks and then we come back and give our honest opinion and let's dive in watch then come back and discuss hair like wool eyes like a flame of fire feet like fine brass as if they were burned in a furnace. If any of you actually read your Bible, you would see that Revelations chapter 1 verse 14 would clearly tell you the description of our Messiah. This is Yahusha HaMashiach. God bless you. Wait, what? Yahusha HaMashiach. Can someone explain to me why I keep seeing people on TikTok pronounce Jesus in Aramaic as Yahusha? Everything I can find on it says it's either Yeshua or Yeshua. In Revelation chapter 1 is not a literal description of Jesus. It says there was a sword coming out of his mouth and his face was shining like the sun in full strength. If that was the case, John wouldn't even be able to look at him in the face without going blind. But of course we know Jesus wasn't white. He was born a Jew of Middle Eastern descent. That's Jesus, the man-made one. Okay. Jesus is just a transliteration of his original name, and there's nothing wrong with that because the New Testament transliterated his name into Greek and said he was Isus. If the apostles were fine with transliterating the Messiah's name into Greek, it's okay for us to do it into other languages. Did Putin really just talk about black Jesus? And if so, then why isn't the whole world talking about this? Everyone's seeing a bridge collapse. Everyone's seeing Diddy's house being raided. Today, Listen. We stand on the precipice of a monumental revolution. A moment that defines not only our understanding of history, but also the path forward for our great nation. In an extraordinary discovery hidden beneath centuries of lore and legend, we have opened what can only be described as the oldest vault known to mankind. What we found within its ancient confines challenges the very fabric of our beliefs and heralds a new dawn for our country. Within this vault, we discovered figures of bi biblical proportions, characters that many have read about, debated and revered. These figures, preserved against the sands of time, reveal a truth that is as profound as it is transformative. They are all black. This revelation, this undeniable truth, stands before us not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament to the diversity and unity that faith embodies. As your president, I see this moment not as a challenge to our beliefs, but as an opportunity to embrace a wider, more inclusive understanding of our history and spirituality. So when I searched on the internet, I kept finding that everything was false. It's false. It's false. But isn't that how most things are that are actually true? Comment below what you think about Black Jesus. And what do I think? I think that it doesn't matter what color Jesus was. He died for our sins. Jesus was from the tribe of Judah. Right. Judah was the bluest, blackest of the 12. They were known for their nappy hair and purple skin. His mother hid him in Kemet, Egypt. Name Egypt by the Greeks. It means land of the blacks. There's no way you're going to hide a, a white, blonde hair, blue-eyed child in a country of blue, black, purple African people. So we know what Jesus looked like. Why the church okay? Why is the black church okay not seeing their Lord and Savior represented as he was? Let's keep on going. The title Christ, which comes from an African word, karas, 
which speaks to the spirit that rises within. In ancient Africa, no one would have been given the title Christ if your skin was not kissed of the sun. In those days, I would be too light to be a savior because back then, divinity was black. Asaru, one of the manifestations of God consciousness was called Lord of the perfect black. Blackness was divinity. That's why every religious teacher was black and nappy. Nobody looked like white with blonde hair and blue eyes. That's a recent creation of the pale man. The question is, why are black churches so content with having a false image of Jesus that they know is false in their church instead of a real historical depiction? And by the way, the oldest original painting of Christ right now, I believe it's in the museum in Egypt. It's the oldest one. And guess what? Everybody blue, black, purple. And I believe it was drawn from life. Everybody was blue, black, purple, including Jesus. Undes undeniably black. Now, guys, I think after watching this video, uh, today I don't want to speak much about this video. I don't want to speak much about the black messiah because this has been a story on social media platforms. You know, this acted like a wake-up call to my fellow black folks that's been a very very long journey and black folks have passed through thick and thin we've passed through a lot we've lost our culture we've lost our identity as the black folks and as the africans so it is this is the time for us as the black folks this is our time for to actually come back again together and seek on how we can unite together and speak as one people because you know the oppressor usually takes advantage of the enmity that is there between us okay between the black folks themselves it is the black folks who don't sh support each other it is these black folks who kill themselves it is these black folks who betray themselves we are capable of changing our identity we are capable of changing the story of the black people because the black people's name has been destroyed and dismantled a black folk do not have any respect anymore. We are not respected because we are not united. So if we can get united as black folks and speak as one people, I think we're going to make Africa and all the black folks around the world to be respected because this is the West media that came with a false narrative about the black folks. It is, a, it is the West media who destroys the name of Africa outside Africa. It's made many people to hate africans because they sold africa as a poor continent as people who need aids and assistance when you come to the ground you get a different totally different story from what the west media showed you so these are messages to the black folks they don't want to speak much if you have something maybe you can add in this video give us your comment because here we are people from different corners and uh, with different educational levels because i love you so much and please feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your great support. And let us educate our black folks. Tell them what is going on and open their eyes. Let them see where the world is heading to. And this is Fred from Africa. This is Fred from Africa. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment, and share for many more African stories, culture, slavery, food, lifestyle, and many more and thank you for stopping by to learn more about africa our motherland and the mother to the world